Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Pat Adams, and our pastor and my good friend has asked me to give a minute for mission on my sewing projects for the Guadalupe Center in Immokalee. I have been sewing for a number of years, and years ago I was uh, doing a lot of work for a third world country, which was Ethiopia. We made zillions and zillions of dresses and slips. And then I transferred my membership to another church, and they had a sewing department, which I was very happy to be involved in. And we made a lot of clothes. And the senior pastor, when the, the lady in charge of the, the uh, sewing department passed away, the senior pastor decided that he would no longer have the sewing department, it would be disbanded. And we had lots and lots of material. And I was a recipient, so I was very fortunate that I was able to use all this material. I started to do a lot of sewing for uh, Chao Guatemala because it gets so cold in the mountains at night and it's, the area is so poor and the people there had nothing warm to keep them comfortable. And uh, it was very heartbreaking to see how these people lived. I've made a couple trips to Guatemala. The last time to, for a school dedication, which I partially funded, and uh, then the lady in charge of the charity decided she was no longer going to take my quilts to Guatemala, which really broke my heart because I felt that I was doing such good work for people who really, really needed the warmth. So in the meantime, I was searching around this area for another charity that I could take my quilts to, and a friend suggested I go to the Guadalupe Center in Immokalee, which I did. I called them, and they wanted to meet me and see what I did. So I made a trip there with 10 quilts, and they were very pleased, and they said they would take all that I can make. So since then, I've been making quilts for Guatemala, or for the Guadalupe Center, and it's, Amakli has always been known as a stepchild to Naples, where there's much wealth, and the people who live in Naples reap the foods and process the foods that many people eat in Naples. And it gives me a good feeling to know that I'm giving back to those who are less fortunate.